All right, and we're here now for our first round semifinal match. It's going to be Team Private Profiles against Team No Quarter. Now, since this is the semifinal match, the team that is ranked lower, based out of the first 10 rounds of play there, gets to pick the map. So Team No Quarter picked Oasis as the match that we're going to go to. So we're going to hop on in there. And away we go. So private profiles have been uh, are ranked number one based out of all of the matches that they I don't played. think they've dropped a single game. I don't think so either. So it's still going to be a good match because no quarter has also been a tough contender throughout the entire uh, tournament. So we'll see if private profiles is able to continue their winning streak or if no quarter will be able to snap their winning streak here. Because this is still best of three, but it's... It's the semifinals. See what kind of kind of heroes we are spawning in with here today. So team private profiles starting off. They look a little bit squishier than normal. They're they're always a little bit squishier, but they do have the two tanks. They've got uh, Roadhog as well as the uh, Zarya. They're not uh, big, huge area tanks like, say, Reinhardt, who have big shields to put over everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they're definitely tanks that you do have to use a little more skillfully to get the same amount out of them. Um, and both of them are pretty good at uh, fighting on their own. And on the other side here, we have... And it looks like uh, No Quarter is going to be blue this time around, and Private Profiles are going to be red. Looks like we've got the uh, Bastion turret, the being, Bastion set turret up. Is being set up here. The Tracer is trying to flank that turret as more skirmishes happen on the point. Now, lots of people on e both teams taking some kills here, but it looks like Private Profiles taking more of the kills and are going to take control of the point first. They do take first control of the point as Reaper is trying to contest it and Roadhog gets picked off on the backside. Looks like they're going to be stacking up for their attempt at retaking it. And private Profile is going to push forward. Going to push forward and take two, three in rapid succession. So Private profiles working together as a whole collective team. And they're pushing... Pushing right back up to the spawn point again. Yep, but they're having to back off. They do have an ult advantage at this point as Tracer zooms right up to the front and... Ooh, I thought Tracer was going to die there. So did I, honestly. She's trying to flank. She's trying really hard, but there's the kill. She got caught out. The rest of the team is moving over here on the right side. Uh, Oh, Private like Profiles Tracer takes down their um, Orisa, and that'll be that for that team fight. Yeah, Private Profiles. So we'll have to wait for them to uh, respawn. To, again, I think this is something I saw last game, uh, but No Quarter hasn't been grouping together as a whole team. They were trying to do a flank with two and three rather than playing as a whole. And the Hanzo ult heading right down the middle. And gets nobody. Gets nobody and doesn't even hurt anyone. Just easily evaded. And private profiles having to fall back as no quarters heading forward. No quarters heading forward. Looks like they've got a they're Zarya force, behind them though. Yeah, they're forcing overtime though. Tracer's right there harassing. Zenyatta coming in. Zenyatta with his ult in there. Tracer uh, the Tracer the is ult. doing work. Her ult comes in for two. She gets another one on the backside. Doomfist comes in to pick one up. They're managing to hold on to this overtime for a long time. 
Tracer yeah. starting to get more kills, and that will be the yeah, first so round. Private Profile is going to take that first round, uh, but, but no quarter putting up a good fight there right at the end and almost took the point over, but Private Profile is just able to hold on. So now we're going to go to the second round in Oasis. So each team uh, still could potentially make something happen here. Private profiles are going to need to continue the pressure. It seems like they're doing a lot of pressure forward. Like they get the point and then don't sit on it. They move forward to try and get some other kind of advantage and cut off the teams. That they do. They like to really push forward and uh, take the fight to the enemy's spawn. And it looks like Private Profiles uh, are going to be holding off No Quarter, pushing them back a little bit. But No the Quarter... The comes in for Junk or uh, Roadhog. Yep. Um, no Quarter not giving an inch, really. No, and the tanks are starting to drop on their front line here. Yep. And it looks like No Quarter is just getting killed off of the point, uh, all but one of them. And this is where uh, Private Profiles is going to move forward. Tracer picking up a kill onto uh, Farah. Now it looks like they're going to be pushing him back again. Looks like uh, they're getting flanked a little bit. Orissa's over here on the side. Yep. And this is a dangerous place to fight an Orissa. If she can She's use her right click and pull you off, then. Uh, she was a little bit too far forward and got cu cut off. Looks like uh, when they rotated over here to fight them, they exposed themselves to Doomfist and Bastion though and they've they've gotten a few kills on the side there so they're actually gonna be able to push forward and stack up again to contest this point. Yep, point is already being contested though. And it looks like they got pushed on Anna off. Anna's living for a long time but that's not necessarily a good thing. As now she'll take longer to respawn. Yep, and it looks like Team Private Profile is trying to get back towards the point as most of them died. The uh, gravity well comes in, and so do the kills. Oof, that Five was kills, basically so many a team kills. wipe. So that's how you want to do the ultimates. The ones that the group last one standing, and not for long. And yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. That uh, that gravity ult is great to be paired with other ults. You just drop that, and then you drop your other ult, and then they can't get away from it. They just have to stand in it. Yeah, my thought is the Tracer ult is usually one that goes well with that, because the Gravity Well pulls them all together, and the Tracer is just literally a bomb that blows everybody up. Absolutely, but it's not just the Tracer ult. Uh, Roadhog ult goes really well with it, because it does a lot of damage, but it knocks you back. But the thing with the, the Roadhog ult is, as it knocks you back, you do less damage to you as you're further away, because it's got like a shotgun spread to it. Yep. Looks like that point was contested for a moment there. By they uh, bring out the Doomfist ult, oh, get one kill. Again. So we're in overtime still. It's probably Doomfist over here on. Yeah, he's holding on as best he can, and he drops. But that gives enough Arisa, time for Arisa gets on the no point, drops your ult. See if they can retake the point here. It's 4v2. So uh, Roadhog is was very close to being down. He's been dropped off. Nope, no quarter he getting flanked here. All right. It was a valiant effort, but I think... Yep, and that's going to do it. Private Profiles are going to take map number one in this semifinal match. That was a pretty good effort there at the end uh, by no quarter holding on to the point it was as a very good effort. long as they could. Uh, this is probably going to be that Gravity Well ult. Oh, nope, it was right at the end with the flank. And she's right behind them, and they're so focused on the front that she just gets so much free damage in from the back. So, quite wonderful. So we'll see uh, what map they choose next time, uh, as it's always whoever does not win the match uh, picks the next map. All right, we'll take a short break as we get this next match uh, set up.
This is Southwestern's Dental Assisting Program. In just one short year, you could be a dental assistant. Sign up now for your one-year dental assisting certification. And we're ready. All right. So the next map that has been picked is going to be King's Row. Now oh. Where do we pick Hollywood? Up. Oh, our fault. We're gonna we're gonna drop out for a second here, uh, and we're gonna pick Hollywood because we wanted Hollywood. My mistake. <laughs> so that was our mistake. We picked the wrong map. So we're gonna go Hollywood. Turns out Hollywood and King's Row are right next to each other. That's what she did. You just misclicked. That's understandable. So let's try this again. Yep. So here we go. We're going to go to Hollywood. So private profiles up one match or one map to zero. One map, nothing. All right, back on this map here with uh, So Hollywood again, the one with a lot of verticality. Uh, and this is another payload mission. Where you got to get this very nice looking car to the enemy base. Now here's, a, here's an interesting factoid for you. There's actually someone in this car that you're escorting. And as you're standing on it, he's complaining the whole way. What you can hear him complaining about it all the way. What an ungrateful person, because you're is. escorting him this whole time. Some kind of Hollywood star, I imagine. Eh, nobody cares about them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Some people <laughs> probably care about them. Right, about 30 seconds. We're going to get our people in. We're still spawning in. See uh, kind like of team comms we've got on this level. On the defense first is going to be no quarter. So we'll see if and this this first uh, this first spot here is it's got an easy choke point to defend, but if you start losing it, you're going to lose it fast and you're going to lose it hard because yep, cause you've got a long distance to run to recover. Yep. It was levels like this that uh, inspired Blizzard to change uh, Symmetra's teleporter ult so that you couldn't teleport all the way back. Yeah, because that teleporter ult, when it was initially released, you essentially had the teleporter in your spawn point, and then you could put it wherever on the map forward that you wanted. Anna takes first blood this time. Oof, team private profiles grouping up really well and coming forward. And they've got the advantage. They've got a uh, Widowmaker up here taking some pot shots, and Widowmaker doesn't have to get a headshot to do a lot of damage and soften you up to be taken down really easily by pretty much anything else. Yep, so it looks like Private Profiles is going to push everyone off of that. So it seems uh, like Private VIP Profiles point. has got a sort of a double sniper comp here going with a skirmisher in uh, Genji in the back there. Yep. And it does uh, seem actually like a pretty beefy a front line with uh, Zarya and Reinhardt. It seems like they're going with the, the strategy we saw last game where they leave one person back on the point and push forward with the other five to try to keep the other team occupied and get that payload moving as forward. It might be slowly, but there's no resistance when it's moving forward. So all the fighting's happening away from the payload. Exactly. All the fighting's happening away from the payload. and the payload. As, lo as long as you're confident in your ability to keep the fights sort of really... Um, Brawly, so like you're not you're not fighting a six man death ball that's stacked up with shields in front of it. Mm -hmm. As long as you're really confident in your ability to, to do that kind of skirmishing, then you can you can probably make this work. But typically, if you've got five or six people all stacked up in a in a group that are coordinating well, then you're just going in five v six is just a asking to die. Oof. And Team Private Profiles are Drops their ults and wins the fight. Yep. So that, again, still moving forward. That payload has a couple of people on it now, but it's still moving. And 
that's going to make it to the door here in just a moment. Genji ult comes in, and he gets one. He gets just the one. He just gets one. Baptista doing a great job of trying to delay that, but ultimately what with uh, the sniper in there taking shots at him as well, there was really no way he could win that fight. Yep, so it looks like here comes the payload moving forward. And a lot of fighting now going to be around the payload. Widowmaker gets her first headshot of the match, looks like. And Winston coming in with his Rage Ultimate. Uh, knocking a few people back, but not getting many kills. No, they're doing a lot of superficial damage, but not really getting any of the finishing blows. And so this is this is their last hope, this push here. Uh, this is the easiest point on the map to defend. You spawn right behind it. And as long as they can just sort of dig in and hold down this spot, they, they, they might be able to defend. fight it back. Yep, I'd be switching over to a Bastion at this point if I was... Uh, Doomfist gets Doomfist and uh, Widowmaker snipes a Tracer, which is pretty pretty good. Tracer is very difficult to hit, what with her ability to blink around so much. Yep, gravity Well coming down, getting one person. Not the best Gravity Well, but she gets gets one, and looks like they're going to probably win the fight off of that. That Lucio ult is not the greatest. It's only hit one or two people, but he's trying to stall out as best he can while everyone responds. Tracer's here, trying to stall again while everyone responds, and uh, they're just... Private Profile's just pushing him back. They've, they've abandoned the point. They need to get somebody back in there. Yep, because it, you know, it looks like no Earth quarter comes is down just for coming one. in from all directions. No quarter's got a gravity right there, and... Oh, oh. And then they're not able to execute. Not it was able a good to execute. strategy. It was. It, it probably did a lot of damage, but it, it just wasn't enough. It didn't kill. And that's going to do it for the first half of that round with Team Private Profiles uh, winning so now, three points. Now they have to push it all the way to the end in order to match that. Yep, so Private Profiles is going to be on the defense again. And No Quarter's got to move it entirely forward in order to have a chance. So all of their heroes are being assembled at the moment. And then they'll be moving in. Ready for battle. So we'll see how Private Profile sets up their defense. It looks like they've switched up who their sniper is and a couple of different folks. Still no Tor Tor Torbjorn coming out. No uh, Symmetra either. I was it's fully expecting some turrets to be on the defense. No, it's everyone was their uh, sniper before. Pretty sure. Oh, Maybe the two, Anna has switched. Two, yeah, I think the Anna switched. Anna is also a sniper, but she's sort of a healer sniper, which is an interesting hybrid. It means... Her, uh, her heals can be really, really good, but you have to be able to land your shots, too. Mm -hmm. So she's highly potent, but also requires a lot of skill to do right. And they're going to be... That's, that'll be the first uh, snipe of the game right there. Oof. And that, again, is the stopping power of Widow, able to take out some players with one shot. Get a headshot on the right player, they die. Doomfist kills Doomfist. And Zarya Private. kills uh, Brigitte. And it looks like Private Profiles are going to be playing very aggressive defense. And it looks like we've got a sniper on on the attacker side, and they get their first snipe off as well. But yeah, it looks like they're just going to try and camp the uh, front doors here again. 
which that's just still a very aggressive strategy. And there's, I believe, two other ways that you're able to come out of Hollywood. There are indeed two other and methods of exit, one on the side here and one on the other side. But most folks seem to still be going for that front door. Not entirely the, sure why. The hope is that since when you step back inside there, you can get the healing from your spawn. The hope is that they can sort of step out, do some damage, step back in, and, and use that to get an advantage. To get some kills, probably, and push the defenders back. Zarya ult comes out, but only catches one. Two after a minute, but... Doomf is coming out to try and contest, but dies. Yep, there's there's a lot of aggression coming out here from Team Private Profiles on how Anna takes out uh, Widowmaker in a sniper match. Ooh, that's that's something you don't see every day. Anna doesn't get the headshots, but she has a much faster fire rate. So if you get dialed in on someone, it can it's not terrible. Widowmaker's taking some of her shots. Pause. And there seems to be some kind of technical problem, and we're pausing. So we'll see what's going on, and we'll be we'll right, be right back. back. Whatever your dream, just keep chasing it. In the all new Honda CRV. With available features like hands free access power tailgate, turbocharged engine, and a sharper, more stylish interior. CRV, the best selling SUV in America. From Honda. Looks like there was some kind of error going on, but it's been fixed. So Man, we'll see back what game. happens here moving forward. There's uh, about a minute and a half left here for no. And there's problem. another rare thing: if a doom fist punches a doom fist while the doom fist is punching the doom fist, they both fall down. Oh, I've never actually seen that happen. You just saw it, it was on stream. You gotta pay attention, man. No, I was I was looking at a different uh, area of the map because it looked like there was a sniper battle happening. The sniper battle is definitely happening up over here as Widowmaker comes up and makes another kill. There you go, and that's why you can come from behind on other maps. And now point. she's she can start trying to pick off some of these guys as they come up here as they try and run back. Doomfist ults, hits nothing. He's chasing down Widowmaker. Widowmaker gets him too. Very nice play from that Widowmaker as they're moving back up here to try and take the point. And it looks like... The defenders are going to have to run for a little while to get up. Looks like they're in full retreat here. They're, gonna, they're falling back to the point. They're going to try and uh, make their stand here. But there's a Doomfist who's chasing down Widowmaker. Uh, Anna is down. They might take this point right here. Yep, and they've got to, because there's only about 15 seconds left. Doomfist has got back, and uh, Widowmaker for um, no quarter manages to win that uh, sniper battle and take out uh, Roadhog. She's coming up big for their team, but it's nope. just not quite enough. Nope. So Team Private Profiles is going to hold off on that one, and it's going to be a win for Team Private Profiles on the second map. So Team Private Profiles is going to win this semifinal match. So they get right, they they got out of the uh, gravity there right in time to get earth shattered. Brutal. Yep, so 
That's one semifinal match down. Uh, so the next semifinal match is going to be against with the number two seed going against the number three. I will get that set up for you right now. So we're going to break this stream and be right back with the second round of the semifinals. <laughs> 